of uh, members of the Djibouti board, but they are not official comments. The IOC now faces a big challenge to seriously investigate these allegations of corruption. Juan Antonio Samaranch says he's determined to clean drug cheats from sport, but is he prepared to clean the alleged cheats from his own ranks? Michael Usher, National 9 News. In Thailand, investigators have found the black box flight recorder from the passenger jet which crashed yesterday, killing 100 people. Three Australians who survived the crash are recovering in hospital. None has injuries regarded as life-threatening. 100 people on board the Thai Airways jet died as the pilot was making a third attempt to land at the resort of Suratani during a tropical storm. Government and airline officials have angrily rejected allegations the pilot should have returned to Bangkok instead of trying to land. Police in Melbourne have been shocked by a huge haul of goods donated for Christmas but stolen from charity bins. It's alleged the items, including children's toys, were sold at flea markets for profit. The sheer scope of the theft is breathtaking. Dozens of toys, suitcases crammed with clothing, even computer hardware and bicycles left in or beside charity bins. All had been donated by generous strangers all allegedly stolen and recovered from the home of this father of four and his de facto wife. It resembled a bargain store or something like that. There was piles of clothing all over the place. The property was allegedly stolen from this row of charity bins near the man's house. Welfare agencies are saddened and outraged. These people are taking from the lowest income members of our community for their own personal gain. Two people will be charged on summons. Police will redistribute the goods once the massive task of cataloguing them is finished. It's alleged the couple stole from charity bins over a period of eight months, selling the toys, clothes and other items at Sunday markets for a profit of almost $5,000. Nick Coe, National 9 News. An American government committee has finalised impeachment charges against Bill Clinton, alleging perjury, abuse of power and obstruction of justice. It will be voted on next week. The president, meanwhile, has flown to Israel and into the turmoil surrounding Middle East peace. He'll hold talks with Israeli and Palestinian leaders during the next two days in a bid to get the accord back on track. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has already warned he will not accept a phony peace. More trouble in Northern Ireland where protesters have thrown petrol bombs at police during an annual Protestant march through Londonderry. Republican gangs hijacked a van and set it on fire. And astronauts on board the space shuttle Endeavour have finished their work on the International Space Station and are preparing to return to Earth. Hatches on the first two sections will remain sealed until another crew arrives in May. The international team has shrugged off a dramatic change in Melbourne's weather to pull off an historic win in the President's Cup. After two days of heatwave conditions, rain today provided a new challenge at Royal Melbourne as the internationals work to take the Cup from the Americans for the first time. The one bright spot for the Americans in their record nine-point loss was Tiger Woods's one-hole victory over Greg Norman. An England batting collapse has Australia set for victory in the third test in Adelaide. Leg spinner Stuart McGill took four wickets and Slater 74 has given the home side a comfortable lead. England lost its last seven wickets for just 40 runs. The only casualty in Australia's second innings today was Mark Taylor. The skipper trapped leg before for 29. A brief look at the national weather now. Thunderstorms for Sydney and Perth, a shower or two for Brisbane, showers clearing for Melbourne, mainly fine in Darwin, and fine for the other capitals. And that's the news for now. Good night. This has been a National 9 News presentation.